Hey guys, Jordan back with another review for you and today we're going to look at the Logitech K380 multi-device Bluetooth keyboard. This has got a massive range of features, it's available for lots of different platforms as well and it also enables you to use up to three different devices on the same keyboard. This one allows you to save preset Bluetooth profiles so you can easily switch between them which is really cool, especially if you may use a phone or maybe a MacBook or you know you go between lots of different devices maybe an iPad your phone you can easily switch between them just by pressing one of the function keys which is really quite cool works very similar to the MX master where you've got the three different profiles on the bottom of it now we're going to go through the system requirements just so you know what you can use this on Windows 7 and up Mac OS 10.10 or later Chrome OS Android tablet or smartphone running 3.2 or later iPad or iPhone which is iOS 5 or later so pretty much anything Apple TV second or third generation and then if you wanted to download optional software you will need an internet connection it's available in black or blue and we're looking at the black version today so yeah, basically the whole premise behind this is it's a lightweight and compact keyboard it does use normal alkaline batteries which do need replacing but only every two years so that's what they're claiming a battery life to be with this which is pretty remarkable to be fair so around the box you've got a nice kind of turquoise color box very simple packaging for this product but of course you don't really need much more than that now one thing i do like about this is it does have the mac and pc shortcuts on there as well so you can easily see where your shortcuts are on your keyboard you've also got 13 integrated media and shortcut hotkeys so it's going to make it really easy to find what you want now personally for me the media keys are one of the most important things on a keyboard because i'm always pausing and playing music especially when i do a voiceover such as this one i'm often playing music and songs in between before i voice over my next segment of the clip now one thing to note is if you want to use this with your pc you will need a bluetooth adapter if you don't have one built in lots of laptops do and also the mac and uh, macbooks do have bluetooth built in but if you're running an older device you will need to consider that if you don't have one included in the box is just an instruction manual nothing really extra is required for this so looking at the keyboard itself it's got a very nice compact design with nice rounded edges you can see there we've got our different commands for the pc and the mac so you can easily find those when you're typing now where this is such a slim keyboard it's going to be using membrane keys it's very similar to like you'd find on a laptop now at the top we've got our easy switch buttons which will go between the three devices that are paired and it's just a case of pressing one of those to switch to the different device on the very top left we've got a nice little power switch it's quite a solid press as well to flip it up so it's not going to turn on in your bag inadvertently it's got some nice rubber feet on the back as well to make sure it's not going to slip on whatever surface you use it on now in the top center of the keyboard is where we're going to find our panel with our AAA batteries underneath you do get two included as well pre-installed it's just literally a case of pulling out the little tab to actually connect the power in and then you're ready to go now the 24 months they claim on the battery life is really impressive now i would like to see how close this claim would actually come in real life um, although i can't actually spend 24 months testing it as much as i'd like to so obviously you're gonna have to take their word for it but it's still a pretty bold and impressive claim so simply pairing it like any other bluetooth device if you've paired speakers before it's just the same as that you will get a code that you need to type in just using the numerical keypad then pressing return will pair it all up together and then you're ready to rock so here we can see me just typing out a quick sentence to just show you in real time how this types out now of course it's a slightly more compact keyboard than you may be used to so it will take a few minutes to adjust to that but personally for me it didn't take me very long then i was using it just as i would with any other keyboard on a day-to-day -day basis i would use a mechanical keyboard and going from that to this wasn't too bad as i'm used to using my keys on my macbook anyway even though it is at the lower end of their product range it still is a very good keyboard really nice to type on and i do love the easy switch functionality that this offers definitely going to be good if i'm going to use my ipad for typing out emails for example and i want to use it on my phone easily go between those by just a simple press then having those media keys on there as well is a great bonus as it saves a lot of hassle from going through different programs to just pause music every now and again easily smash it down on the keyboard make your life a lot easier but overall a great little keyboard i will put the links down for this in the description box below if you want to get one for yourself Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Thank you for Logitech for sending this out for me to review, and I'll see you all in my next video.